Hello everyone, I'm Nate and welcome to the channel. Today on the channel, I'm going to be talking about the newest return top from Rain City Skills. This is the Yonami Code. All right, let's get into the Yonami Code. First off, uh, did you like that new intro? I did put that intro on the last video, but maybe you didn't notice it, but it's, it's been long overdue to have a new intro, and that was one of my goals for this year, is to have a, a new intro, so there we go, there we are. Uh, also, thank you uh, to my viewers. Uh, we are at 5,000 subs, it's awesome. My goal for this year is to get to 10,000. It's April, and we have a long way to go. So if you've been watching this channel, and you enjoy the content, consider subscribing if you are not already. All right, like I said, today we're talking about the Yonami code. This is the newest thing from Rain City Skills. I wanted to talk about the, the box here uh, because this is the first time I'm seeing something a little different from Rain City Skills. I really liked the box art and the approach to the unboxing and, uh, and all that, just the whole unboxing experience was really cool. Uh, so let's just talk about that really briefly. It has this sort of like, you know, vintage, it says cheat code and all that it actually says cheat code on the back. Really, really cool. I like that design a lot. Very kind of like, you know, you know, a 16 bit maybe, you know, that kind of vibe, right? Uh, and then on the bottom, it has um, all the cheat codes written in there, right? So. Uh, this would be back, you know, for those who are my age, you know, maybe you remember, and this is, I loved what Jeremy had to say on the write-up, uh, I believe he wrote that, I assume, uh, that, uh, you know, back in the day, whenever you wanted to beat a game, you actually had to have cheat codes because they were stupid hard, and so that's kind of the name here, the Onami code. Uh, I would recommend opening this up from the bottom. Has a nice little window open there, but along in there has a little box, and this kind of has a lot of their, like, extra goodies that they typically have. Uh, let's just open up and show you as a string it also comes with a slim bearing um, it's installed with an unresponsive like full-size c bearing it's um, concave and all that stuff uh, but it does have a half spec bearing so if you're brand new to yo-yo and you don't know how to do a bind return that's what it's there for or if you just want to play responsive you know if you want to do that it has an extra string it actually has two strings it also has an extra axle, so a shorter axle for that half spec bearing. It also has their traditional maple candy, uh, since they are from up north. It also has, uh, looks like some pogs that they've done oftentimes in there. Put this. Too many things to hold, okay. <laughs> all right, uh, has some of their pogs as well and some stickers and, and all that stuff. All that typical swag that I've talked about or maybe if you're familiar with Rain City stuff, uh, yeah. Always, always a fun unboxing with them. This is Jake's colorway, the Zelda colorway. I really like uh, the color choices that they chose there. It's an H-shaped yo-yo. This is an aggressive H-shaped yo-yo, if you cannot tell there. It's quite wide, um, and you know, obviously it's gonna be impossible not to hit that gap. Uh, it does have an IRG in there. It also has the, um, the Lego hubs there, so if you want to put on those caps for finger spins or I actually brought out here also because I forgot I had these things these are so fun uh, these are the Lego light up ones I've done a review of that actually light painted with these which is really fun or you can just throw these on for you know just some nighttime fun or going clubbing or or whatever you're oh, and then, or drop them on the ground or whatever but anyways those are fun or you could just put Legos in there to accessorize it even without something like the the Lego hubs there you could finger spin with this easily enough. It's also gonna probably finger grind, amazing. The blast on there is pretty standard, but it's solid for that as well. It doesn't feel like it's really uber rib weighted, but because it's so flared out and because it's such an aggressive H shape, I think it's gonna feel much more rim weighted than it actually is. On the scale, it's actually on the lighter side of things as well. It's right around that 62 gram mark. The diameter is only 54.6 on this, which I was a little surprised because it actually feels a little wider and maybe just because of the width of it, it just it's deceptive. It's gonna be very balanced and I think it's gonna play lighter than it really looks, right? A lot of wide yo-yos like this don't necessarily play like bouncy, but I think this one's gonna play a little bit like that. I think there are a lot of performance features within the design in this, but I think it's also gonna be a little bit of just more of a fun yo-yo as well. 
it's it's a kind of nice blend of those two as far as design and that's kind of rain city skills shtick right yo-yos that are kind of more on the fun side of things but also playable at the same time and i think this one's going to hit that uh mark all right let's go and actually play it and see if we're right okay the yonami code is so wide that it's actually deceptive of like to tell where the weight distribution really is because it doesn't really feel like it's got a lot of rim weight. I think it's just wide enough that it it feels really rim weighted. It's deceptive, like I said. I talked briefly about the uh, the weight there and I think it actually does really well. I, I like that lighter feel. It gives it a little bit more zippy, sort of um, bouncier kind of feel to it. I'm not saying it's like floaty necessarily. It has a little bit of that, but I think any heavier than this, it would feel sluggish. I could see maybe a 5A player actually really liking this yo-yo. I, I think it would lend itself really well for something like that in that style. So somebody maybe like Jacob from their team, I think is predominantly a 5A player. I think he might really like this yo-yo. So I'd be curious if he's gonna be throwing this one. It does have an IRG that's really easy to hit and pop up. It hooks in really nicely there. I talked about how like even without the finger uh, hubs there, it does really well for, you know, if you're wanting to do that DNA or whatever super popular now with the kids. I wasn't sure what if I was going to like this yo-yo or not, to be honest, just because it doesn't really fit a lot of my personal preferences as far as design. I, I like a more high wall yo-yo maybe, organic, like it has none of those things, but it actually plays really well and uh, it's really enjoyable. It's, it's a nice, it, feel, it definitely feels like a Rain City skill yo-yo where it's got a lot of fun factor in it. The design's really clean, it's, it's approachable. It's not super gimmicky like some of the things in their catalog can be, which those are intentionally gimmicky, right? This one's, it plays well, but it also plays just kind of fun. I feel like you could push this more probably than somebody like myself, right? I, I feel like because of the width of it and the shape of it and the, the stability and all that, I feel like you could push this yo-yo pretty far for performance. Yeah, it's gonna do really well for those sort of off the plane kind of tricks. Horizontal is gonna be a breeze. Hitting that gap is gonna be, I mean, it's gonna be amazingly easy for anything you really want to throw at it. So if you're wanting something that just has all the gap in the world, this is that yo-yo too. Rejections are gonna work okay too. Now where it's not gonna really probably do well is regens. You're just not gonna have a lot of control with those. You really need something that's maybe a little bit higher walled or just not as wide. It's not like it's impossible. It just doesn't want to cooperate as well. There we go. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, overall, I really, I actually, again, I've I'm a little surprised with this yo-yo. I, I think by the looks of it on paper and all that, I think it could have played just kind of okay, but it actually plays really well. I like the design of it. I think it is pushing just on the edge of just a little bit too much, but it works really well actually. and and. Rain City Skills knows how to make that balance. They've done a few designs and I think they can do that sort of like a little bit edgier design, but still playable design at the same time. And that's exactly what the Yonami code is all about. So I'll have a link in the description where you can take a look at all that and all the details that you want to know. Of course, in the description, you also see the specs and everything you need to know. If you like this video and you liked all the skill toy content that I do on this channel, make sure you like, subscribe, and all that other stuff. All right, and that's going to do it for now with the Yonami code from Rain City Skills. And until the next one, later.